Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you uh, this activity mat um, binder. I said I was going to share this a while ago and I've just been taking a, a long time because I have been doing a lot of other stuff. So I'm sorry it took so long, but here I am. Uh, in this video particular, particularly, I'm going to share the math activity mats that I have for my first grader at the moment. So let me go ahead and get started because there are a few of them. And then in a separate video, I'm going to share the language arts one. And then I believe I have a couple miscellaneous ones. So um, let me show you what I have. I have a couple of um, mats from numbers 1 to 30, 1 to 15, 1 to 100. Those are to play different activities with my daughter. Um, I have the principle for the pink tower that we play along with the pink tower over there. This is just like a fun uh, logic uh, game as well as some um, math concepts you can play with these and many other stuff. I love the pink tower. Uh, it may seem like a fun like toddler game, but it's not. There's so many activities you can do with it. Um, then I have this addition disc. It goes all the way to nine. And you simply add this number to the other numbers. You can use little number tiles if you want. Um, to write down the end, to put the answer, to show the answer like that, or simply just make the problem and use a workbook or a notebook or something. Um, this one, you can use it with anything. It can be math or language arts. I use it for sight words. Like I will write down sight words here or little math problems like two plus eight or one, one two, two times four, you know, stuff like that. And then you just roll a dice. Uh, you roll a dice and then you move places. Um, same concept, concept, but with a bingo board blank. And you just write down whatever you're teaching. This one I showed it in another video of what's in my Montessori uh, inspired shelf. And uh, you simply roll a dice and you color in the number of squares. So you color in one. You roll a dice for the tens, you color one. You roll a dice for the hundreds, you call it four for the thousand, and so on and so forth to whatever place you're working on. And then you count how many places you color in, and then you write down the number on the bottom. I got this principle online. I don't know what the two spaces are for. I would just use one. Um, and then you can read the, the, the number when you're done. This, I have a separate video for this blank grid. I, I play with my daughter a couple of games and I will link that video down in the description box for you. This one, I also showed it in my What's in my Montessori Inspired Shelf video. Um, basically, number bonding. This is for addition and subtraction. Um, I will use number cards or number tiles for these. So... I don't know, my daughter needs to make the number 10, right? So we'll write down number 10, and then I'll tell her what other numbers you can use to make the number 10, different ways of making the number 10. So she can tell me, okay, five plus five, or let's do four plus six. And then in here, she'll have to write it down, four plus six, and in here, she'll have to show it to me with a with a frame so four with a 10 frame sorry plus six and then you know she'll write she'll add all the little six marbles in there um this is kind of like a easy thing for her because she can add bigger numbers than 10 but this is mostly to practice and reinforce the concept of number bonding and using a frame a 10 frame or even i have a five folder game with uh three 10 frames for units for ones tens and hundreds and i have a video for a five folder games if you want to watch it i will link it down in the description box for you this is another game for place value so you roll thousands and i got this principle from mamajanblogs.com so you roll for the ones, you got a three. So you write down number three, and then you roll for the tens, for the hundreds, and for the thousand. 
and then is a two-player game. So whoever has, has the bigger number will get a tally mark. And then you decide how many times you want to do this. And at the end, whoever has the mo most uh, tally marks wins. This one I made it myself. Um, I got an idea from a printable online, but I made it myself. I simply use a bunch of Sharpies that I have over here. I have like a lot of Sharpies. And um, that's it. You don't have to print everything. So this is to work on the number. Um, it's just like a fun game. She, she really likes it. She likes activities like this. Um, so I will write down the number, I don't know, 16, and this marker is really drying. And she has to create all these little uh, activities for her um, that I created for her. So she has to decide if it's an odd or even and write down the letter for whatever it is, how many tally marks, you know, and she'll have to tally mark this and then the number word. So she's going to write it. And one more will be 17, one less, 15. Um, for the place value, she'll, t she'll say six and one. And she have to, you know, uh, create a math problem how you can make up 16. For adding, it can be eight plus eight, plus eight. And for subtraction, maybe 18 minus two, right? Over here um, is for a little more hands-on. So you grab a couple of number uh, tiles. And for this one, she'll use the counting blocks that I have created for her. And I have a separate video where I show the counting blocks over there. So this is how she'll play this activity. And of course I will provide all this manipulatives ahead of time so that when she plays this activity, she doesn't have to go wandering around looking for what she needs. Um, usually I create my activities and I put them on the shelf over there. So that's that. Next, I have something that I use uh, with these Montessori uh, cards. So I will hand her a couple of cards for the hundreds, the units, the tens, the thousands. And then she has to place them in the correct order. So 2000. 156 and then she'll write it down i'm sorry i'm, I'm playing this upside down <laughs> so she'll have to write it down on the top over there so as you can see i colored the lines the same color as a number uh, another way you can play it is you write down the number and then you give her all the cards over here and then she has to find the cards that correspond to make that number um, this is another idea from a principal. Uh, you simply supposed to use marshmallows and then you put toothpicks on, like you insert them on the top and then you add in little beads or little Cheerios, um, so that the child can eat the activity when the child is done, <laughs> but we don't eat marshmallows. We don't eat Cheerios. So I'm not going to just go ahead and buy that for the activity. So I decided to just place, place them like this. Um, and then you simply add whatever you know you want, pretending they're little Cheerios. And then the child will have to write down the numbers. So how many ones? It's two ones, three tens, and one hundred. So one hundred thirty-two. Um, so yeah, that's another activity for place values. This one is simply a multiplication chart. Uh, I got the principle from online. I typed in Montessori print, um, Montessori multiplication chart, and I got I found this one, this one, and I liked it. So I will just simply give her a problem on her notebook. You can write it on top here if you want. So two times four. So first we're gonna find the two, and then we're gonna time it four time. So we have one, two, three, four. So remove um, as many times as you say what you're gonna time it for, and then whenever you land on, that's your answer. You can do this, or you can also, you know, move with dry erase marker as many as many times as you need to, and then that's gonna be your answer. 
So that's another activity mat to show you. Let me erase that because then it's really hard to erase it when you leave it on for so long. Um, this one is a fraction fun and I simply give her a fraction. We're not really working a lot in fractions right now. We're using these little games. These are little pies. You have the little pieces in here. You just put them in according to whatever uh, you roll on the dice because it's up to one sixth. But uh, occasionally we might play something like this and I will tell her, show me one fourth. So she'll simply have to like create it and then color in and then she have to write it down, the word and then the symbol for that. So this is how we play this, uh, this activity for fractions. And again, this is not a printable. I created it with uh, Sharpie markers. You can tell, right? <laughs> um, this I showed in a separate video about the 10 grams. Um, I will link that video down below. This Blockus uh, pattern printable, I made it myself. And I just, um, Yvonne from my little smarty pants and I, we've been trying to come up with activity to use this game over here. Let me show you, I put the, so this game right here, Blocus, and it has the little board you can play it with and all the chips. Um, so I was trying to come up with different ways on how to play this game, make little logic games for my daughter. And I came up with this. I actually found a printable online with these little cards. So I print them, I print it out and I cut them out, laminated them. There are at least 20 of them in this little container. Um, and then with the chips or the pieces, actually you, uh, you know, create the, the design, you have to recreate it. Um, so I made this for my daughter to do this on here. I just put it on the table for sake of the video. Um, or you can use the same board from the game. Um, Yvonne also gave me an idea of how, how to use this with two different uh, concepts with math problems and also with uh, some spelling words. Um, so she's going to make a video of her, of her own showing those activities. Uh, so stay tuned to her channels uh, if you want to know what they are. Uh, I'm going to use some of her ideas already <laughs> with my daughter. So I will present this activity to my daughter. I will scramble all the pieces at the bottom and give her a couple cards and then she has to recreate it on the grid right here. Um, this is a three digit addition problem. And I already recorded this video once and it was too long. <laughs> That's why you see some of the activities already written down. So anyways, uh, you can roll a dice with this one and I made little apples because uh, that way you can draw little seats in there. You can roll a dice for the first number and then for th the second and for the third one and then add them all up and write down the answer down here. Um, you can use more than one dice and so you can get bigger numbers for each apple, right? Um, and what else? Oh, and like I say, you just like draw in the little seeds or you can use little number tiles, whatever you want, or you can use little beads or whatever. Um, this is the same concept. You roll in a dice for the number. If you have more than one, you can just place them like this and then add the, num the numbers up and write down the answer. Or you can use a dry erase marker for each time you roll and you, you write down the numbers. Over here, it's a printable that I made myself a while ago for coins. And I have the same one for uh, bills. You simply, again, you can roll a dice, eat four quarters, and then you write down number four. Uh, two dimes, you write down number two, and you do this the same with the other coins. And then you add them all up. You can use uh, little coins, you know, so you have, if you needed two quarters, then you'll like pull out the two quarters and then count them, add those first and then write down the number. Um, 
like oops so if you have two quarters if you rolled two quarters then you will have 50 right if you rolled four dimes then you have 40 and then you add those numbers up so it's you can play like that as well um, I like making activities or creating activities actually that you can play in different ways not just one way of playing it so the same with the number bills this is a number bond pretty simple just write a number there and then what two numbers you can use to create that number or you can give her give your child an addition problem like a plus two and then you can use little counters let's do a smaller smaller problem <laughs> so let's do two plus two okay and then you add them up one two three four you can work that way as well you can do multiplication problems like two times three and you group them and then you write down you put the answer on the top um yep that's it these are the language arts one and i'm gonna record a separate video for that because this one is already already 16 minutes long all right so i'm gonna record the next video for you guys and then that's it uh thank you for watching and i'll see you next time